Congrats on choosing Kindle Direct Publishing to design, format, and prepare your book for Kindle. Before you begin writing would be the ideal time to watch this video, but you can watch it at any time during the writing process to help you prevent issues that will cause a less than satisfactory reading experience on Kindle devices and applications. We will be demonstrating processes explained in the Kindle book, Building Your Book for Kindle. Feel free to watch this video while referencing the different chapters in the guide. You can even download and print a PDF version of the guide from the KDP website to use while following along as you watch. Now let's get started. First, let's take a look at inserting indents at the beginning of paragraphs. In your Microsoft Word document, go to the Page Layout tab and click on the Dialog Box button in the lower right-hand corner of the Paragraph section. Next, you'll click the drop-down box under Special and select First Line, then click OK. Now, to make the content clearly positioned and easy to read, you'll want to insert empty spaces between paragraphs. On the Page Layout tab in the Paragraph section, adjust the spacing after a paragraph. You can type 10 in the space provided and press Enter to use this as your space setting. To prevent your content from overlapping chapter to chapter, Insert page breaks so that each chapter begins on its own page. At the end of a chapter, on the Insert tab of your Microsoft Word document, click on the Page Break button. To follow any formatting changes you have made, use the Show Hide function. On the Home tab in the Paragraph section, click on the Paragraph symbol to show or hide your formatting changes. Using this function is a great way to quickly find formatting issues that need to be edited. Images that are copied and pasted will be lost during the conversion process. To avoid this, first save your images as JPEG files. Then insert them into your content by going to the Insert tab and clicking the Insert Picture button in the Illustration section. Now you'll want to avoid using headers and footers because they will not display on Kindle as intended. Instead, use different styles for your title and chapter headings. For example, for your chapter heading, highlight the text and right-click on Heading 1 under Styles on the Home tab. The dialog box that appears will allow you to modify the settings of the heading style, such as making the color automatic. Once you click OK, you'll be able to use the same style for each chapter heading. Also, just as headers and footers won't display on Kindle, avoid using font size to add emphasis. Kindle readers are able to adjust the font size of any text, so the different font size will not express the intended emphasis. Next, let's take a look at the front matter, specifically the title page, copyright page, dedication, and preface or prologue. For the title page, make sure to center the text and enter a page break after the title or author name. The page break will prevent additions to this page overlapping onto the next page. This same process should be used for the copyright and dedication pages. If you decide to include a preface or prologue, include it after the table of contents and format it the same way you do the other chapters in the title. We've already seen how you can identify your chapters with a heading style. Now let's create a table of contents for those chapters. Make sure to title the table of contents, then click on the table of contents button on the references tab. Click insert table of contents then uncheck Show Page Numbers and change the Show Levels to 1. 
Now click the OK button. You'll also want to set a bookmark so that your table of contents will be active. That is, readers will be able to click on the link to a certain chapter. To do this, highlight the table of contents title and click the bookmark button on the links section of the insert tab. In the dialog box, change the bookmark name to TOC and then click Add. If you decide to add more chapters later, make sure to identify them with the Heading 1 style. Also, to ensure that your Table of Contents updates, click anywhere in your Table of Contents and press the F9 key on your keyboard. This will add any new chapter headings and will delete any that have been removed. Another important aspect in the creation of a successful book for Kindle is preparing a cover. When you upload your book, you will be asked to upload an image for your book cover. Book covers influence sales and we strongly recommend you give some consideration to the cover of your book. Keep in mind that images need to be in a JPEG or TFF format, at least 1000 pixels on its longest side, and the ideal height-width ratio is 1 to 6. On the cover itself, be sure to include the book title, author name, and an image that captures the essence of the book and grabs readers' attention. For the image itself, you can have it professionally designed for a fee or design the image yourself. If you choose to design it yourself, you will need a digital design application, access to artwork, and fonts that you own or that are in the public domain. Before uploading your content, make sure to copy edit your text. Run spell check on your content, but also proofread to correct grammatical errors. Fixing any errors can mean the difference between a 4-star review and a 2-star review. Once you're satisfied with your edits, convert your manuscript to HTML. To do this, click on the File tab and select the Save As option. Once you have located the appropriate folder on your hard drive, Make sure to change the Save As type to Web Page Filtered HTM HTML. Then click the Save button. You might get a pop-up warning you that saving in the web page format will remove Microsoft Office specific tags. Go ahead and click Yes. If your book has images, you will want to create a zipped file of your contents. The zipped file will include your converted manuscript and the images that you inserted into your content. Right-click on the folder with your manuscript Scroll over Send To and select Compressed Zipped Folder. Now copy the folder with your images and paste it into the newly zipped folder. This zipped folder will be the one that you upload to your bookshelf on the KDP website. Now that your title is ready, it's time to publish. First, sign into the KDP website where you will be taken to your bookshelf. Click on the Add New Title button. On the next screen, you will provide all of the details for your book. First, check the box if you want to enroll in KDP Select. Next, you'll enter your book's title, description, and add contributors. Remember, you must have at least one contributor, the author's name.
Next, specify the language of your content and whether your title is public domain or an original work for which you hold the publishing rights. Now you will want to target your book to customers by selecting up to two categories and specifying search keywords. Remember, the keywords will be how customers search for your book in the Kindle store. It's finally time to upload your content. First, if you've created a book cover, click the Browse for Image button and upload your cover file. Next, you'll move on to upload your book file. Select whether you want to enable digital rights management, then click Browse for Book. At this point, you will either upload the saved HTML file or the zip file that you created. Once you upload your book, be sure to preview it with one of the available preview options. If you're satisfied with how your content looks, click on the Save and Continue button. On the next screen, you will provide information on your publishing rights, royalty options, and options for Kindle book lending. Once you complete this page and check the box that you are in compliance with the KDP terms and conditions, click Save and Publish. If you need to make edits to your content after you publish, such as changes to the converted text or the book details, do so by checkmarking the box beside the title in question and select an option from the Actions drop-down menu. In this demonstration, we see that edits will be made to the book details. On this screen, make any necessary edits to the listed information, such as uploading an updated version of the converted text or a new book cover. Then click Save and Continue. You'll then go to the next screen and confirm the pricing and rights information for the title. Once you are finished with all edits, click the Save and Publish button. If you make updates to your content, you may want to alert the readers who have already purchased the title. To do this, we ask that you write to KDP using the Contact Us link at the bottom right-hand corner of each page of the KDP website. Refer to the book Building Your Book for Kindle for some helpful information including your contact about updating your customers. Congratulations, you are now a published KDP author.